I would advise you to think about the categories you want to score on first. So look at what you do with your clients. Maybe there is a method or maybe you have a process. So in our business, we have six levers of scale. There are six highly important areas that we work through with our clients to grow their companies with ease and excellence. So we have your buyers and programs, we have your message, we have your marketing and lead generation, we have your sales process, we have your teams, and we have your time and your systems. And then we scale one more bonus area and that is your happiness, how happy you are in your business. So look at what it is that you do for clients and extract the key areas from that. As a next step, I would suggest sitting down and coming up with four or five questions or key phrases you want to test on within each category. So each of your five to six categories may have four to five questions within it that really allow people to assess how they're doing in these areas, right? And ideally, you want to make those questions positive. So how fulfilled are you? How happy are you? How wealthy are you? Positive statements, right? So they, they, your clients or your leads can say yes or no, or they can score on a rating scale, one to five, for example. And along the way, they're having a really positive experience. So positive uh, type questions are always the best. Firstly, it might feel like quite a big project to create a landing page, series of questions, possibly a report afterwards, but if you just take it one step at a time and really create sort of your minimum viable scorecard um, and put it out there, you will be surprised at the, the kind of uptake that you'll get. Um, and then the second thing is just to continually improve and learn um, on the scorecard because although you might be happy with it, I think when you look back at it with fresh eyes um, and you get recommendations and feedback from others, um, there's definitely improvements or ways that you can refine your scorecard. My key piece of advice in building a scorecard, beyond it being valuable to the client, is to construct it in a way that they can't presuppose what the outcome is going to be. So not only is it a core question that they would like to so see the answer to, they cannot guess what you're going to say. What I've learned along the way is to keep it simplistic from the beginning and then build on top of it. So don't try and put too much in from the beginning. And what I mean to give you an example, I think if I were to start back again, I spent so much time trying to make it perfect that I thought as soon as someone gets into the scorecard, they're going to absolutely love it. But it wasn't the case. I built out this amazing, what I thought was this amazing score app um, and very quickly I realized clients were dropping off very quickly and it wasn't even finishing the score app. So I had to cut out a lot of questions and I had to change some questions and so forth before people actually start finishing the score app. And I realized I cut the questions in half and it's probably going to be different for different industries. But for myself, I didn't need as many as I thought I needed. Also, my landing page was, there's so much on my landing page, people weren't converting and wasn't even starting the score app. So then I started simplifying it and taking a lot away from it and it's worked phenomenally. So the advice I'd give anyone who's new to this is start simple, be simple from the beginning and then build on it.